Right, good morning, folks. Uh, let me just unlock this. <clears throat> uh, I'm setting off to the post office because uh, I've got about eight little Amazon items to collect in I think three or four different parcels uh, mostly just little fittings fixtures for the plumbing jobs that I'm hoping to get some help with so let's just final check on the door that's definitely closed there's a boat as well right I think I'm going to go for cyclers in terms of navigation yeah I'm going to try cyclers because uh, ride with GPS what was the problem with it the map I, I, I didn't know where the hell I was I was doing this route part of this route today didn't know where the hell I was and I couldn't really identify it from the map so I'm going to go with the fastest route 1.6 miles in terms of an actual ride it's bugger all you know 1.6 miles on an e-bike it, it is sort of trivial really uh, but it involves getting across that as the first thing anyway um, there's no point riding up is there I guess stretch my legs a little bit first uh, so yeah um, there's a number of plumbing fittings elbow joints and I need some pipe as well because I've got to fit an expansion vessel it's called an accumulator on the hot water supply because I'm worried every time that tank heats up there's kind of nowhere for all the water to go when it expands and I feel like I'm asking for trouble so let's have a quick look what a beautiful sight Street A Wharf down there. Liner boats. Must be a secure mooring, look. Little gate. Trouble is though, right? And it's kind of a problem with this mooring how I'm on now. Is that to go anywhere? Like, you've got a mile of muddy towpath that way and about two and a half miles of muddy towpath that way before you get to somewhere where you can access a road so this is the only game in town the A38 now because it's about 11ish it'll be a bit easier to cross here it's about 11 is you'll be easier to cross uh, so that's the good news still not that easy though still steady I, I think the ideal time right you want to do this do it about 10 a.m. half 10 then you're likely to find that the traffic obviously 3 a.m. would be your best bet but you're not going to do that are you right okay here's a here's a gap and actually there's a gap on this side as well unusually so the traffic coming out of town the A38 that way, perhaps 15 miles is Birmingham. So the traffic coming this way is impulses, but it's it's okay. The traffic going down into town towards the built-up areas is heavier. 
as we're approaching lunchtime. Just trying to lean my head out of the way of various foliage. So I did this route yesterday because uh, I had to pick up an eBay item. My brush, which I've assembled, looks good. I've had to cut it down to size a little bit. I bought one, the only one I could find was a bit too big. But we'll, we'll see. I'll give that a go in a couple of days. Once I'm certain I'm not using the stove anymore, I'll give it a brush. At the moment's not worth it. So, yeah, this is, uh, it's a bit of a pain in the arse route really, but you know, there's always compromises, aren't there? Of some sort or another. The perfect rural mooring won't be that easy to get to. Now, this was where I went wrong yesterday. This is the route, the correct route. The psychopath is sort of blocked off. Do you know? It's uh, chilly as well. The sun's just disappeared behind a cloud and instantly it's too cold for this thin shirt that I've got on. But anyway, this is the route. They've constructed a little footpath type route for you to get to the A38. I was stopped here briefly by a guy on the way back. Uh, where was it? It was somewhere, somewhere here. Uh, it's a little bit further on. Because uh, this is high security, actually. Um, it's amazing. The number of warning signs, danger, warn electric fences and literally electric fences number of warning signs is crazy uh, but anyway this is the only route oh don't tell me we've got rain oh i've got me hiya yeah they got a oh don't do this literally out of nowhere this can't it can't be more than a shower right so i wonder if, by the time i feel like by the time i get the anorak on it could have stopped anyway but the problem is it's also cold so i think i'll stop and put the anorak on guys spraying water from the back of the vehicle i wonder what construction technique involves that Anyway, no, I'm going to do it. I'm getting the, I'm getting the coat on. I, yeah, uh, I was going to take the coat out. It looked like, for all the bloody world, the sunniest day you've ever seen in your. I did take the coat out. You absolute pillock. I've taken my coat out. So the moment I set off, the moment I set off, it looks it. <coughs> sun disappears and it goes from a summer's day 20 degrees it goes to like late march with showers and now i'm getting soaked i'm not only cold i'm, I'm also getting soaked but i've got to do this because uh, they've been languishing there since yesterday or the day before and uh I'm gonna, I think, get some help with the plumbing jobs. Just a couple of bits, that's all. So an expansion, two expansion vessels. One on the cold supply, one on the hot. Um, for different reasons, really. But I wanna get the stuff ready because when Harry's friend gets some spare time to attend to these things, you know, I don't wanna say, oh, come back tomorrow because I haven't got a little part. So I'm trying to get all the bits I'm going to need to make it work. Now, I remember this, and I did this route yesterday. 
I did this route yesterday. Ah, oh shit, massive sharp branch. Did this route yesterday. Oh shit, Ugh. didn't spot the pavements. Okay, right. There's no point going on the pavements on this section. So I did this route yesterday. If I can just uh, think, I, I turned off to get to a, the co op at the south of Litchfield. Which is a very nice co op actually. Really nice, the best co op I've ever seen. Mainly because they had a whole section with local produce. So it's up that way. That's the way. Across the train station thing. And uh, I may end up going back because screw fixes that way. But we'll see. Oh, this route. Uh, sort of a gentle uphill for some of it and I'm um, getting the wind I thought the wind would be in my favour but it doesn't feel like it is uh, yeah we've got about a mile of this and then we turn right and uh, I'm just looking at whether I should get on the pavement here because I feel like I'm going to be a bit of an obstruction this doesn't feel like the best place the traffic's quiet so that's good so where's my turn off I'm looking for a big uh, roundabout and that's not it so it's a bit further on Should have left that. Here we go. Let's go on the psychopath. Ugh. Hopefully these two guys won't take offence at my squeezing past. Cheers guys, just squeeze past, thanks a lot, cheers. It is a legit cycle route this, as evidenced by the bike symbols. Right, so ahead there is the uh, Sorry, I'm just looking to the off to the left, making sure there's no one coming out. And uh, okay, I don't know where this is going to go. There's a cycle path indicated. Anything could happen when you go on these. Really, you don't really know where it's going to take you. But the route, there's some kind of uh, breakfasty place down here on the left but I've not got time so so how do I get across here I think I need to go this way this is what I'm thinking thankfully quiet time of day I also wonder have I been through here in my previous incarnation when I was travelling to and from Birmingham and in the general area uh, there were many times I took the A38 to avoid traffic well there was always traffic but it was even to avoid worse traffic and uh, there's one or two, that little junction rang a bell, but anyway, you know. It matters not. 
So up ahead somewhere on the left. Up ahead somewhere on the left is the post office. And I think I can see a little sign. There's a little uh, retail park here. We do the bit of shopping, but we'll see. So I need to get over on the left. Now then. The what be best chances to do that. Right. Okay, so I've not seen a great chance yet. So I'm going to have to go on foot because I'm here. So, it's not worth trying to start a bike up a slope like this. Not when there's only 30 yards of it. And there's the postie, so. Seems like it's a, a little row of shops. I did have a look on Street View, as you do. Right. I think my best bet is here. Hiya, uh, could I pick up some Amazon items, please? Oh, right in the corner down there. Oh, well, right. Thank you. Okay, so... There's the post office, there's the bike. Little row of shops. That's the bin, so I'm going to get rid of the cardboard from all of those. So, it's the usual tear down shift all the cardboard business that I do and uh, I haven't got a knife but this generally does the job right, so there's just a miniature bicycle pump it's just bits and bobs really bits and bobs of gear uh, water purifying tablets, uh, tubing, plastic tubing, stove polish. My uh, my coal stove has lost its black sort of finish in some places, as has the grate. So I'm hoping that will restore it. Uh, so I'll do that in a couple of days. Once, as I say, once I know 100% I'm finished with the, with the stove for the summer, I'll, uh, I'm going to tidy the whole thing up and just uh, sort of decommission it. So it's another one of those public unboxings, really. So what's this one? This is pipe cutters. They're cutters specially for that, what's it called? Push fit tubing. These are inserts to hold the, the end of the tubing rigid when it 
fits in and clicks into place so most boats do seem to have this style of push fit tubing right so I also ordered a collapsible bucket because I found there was a hole in my bucket okay so okay that is stove glass cleaner spray fits on there again my stove glass cleaner is running low but it's the best thing for the job and a little foldable bucket different things for washing the boat washing the roof um, and just washing the odd shirt in the summer I've got a bigger one for like trousers but it uses a lot of water so that one is a more economical way and as I say the current one I think with them folding down the weaknesses sometimes they develop little splits in them those buckets so they're not going to last forever I've got three years out of it three and a half years so I can't complain uh, so now just destroy this and there's a little bit of shopping I want to do and I'm wondering whether to go back in there Hundred minutes to go back in there. Forty. Or whether to visit the co-op on the way back. There's a co-op on the route. Now the co-op is not a cheap shop, but there might be the odd little food. I'll get better bread, won't I? I we'll could do some nice bread. So I've got I've got some space because I brought a pannier as well. Right, last one. This is a spare water container. There we go, not a big one, modest size, but I found twice in recent months I've run out of uh, water. Uh, not recent months, certainly over six months, I've run out of water twice. And uh, when you do, it's a genuine emergency. I think I've explained this, you can't wash, you can't rinse, you can't drink. So I bought this as an emergency water backup water supply right so just just over nice even you know water runs out one evening just tide you over you can have a couple of drinks of water a cup of tea you can rinse your hands off you know whatever it is you can do that and just yeah just sort of live you can't live without water and it it becomes less of a critical emergency if you know what I mean just buys you some time so whenever I fill up water now I'm gonna fill that up I'm a little bit worried about fitting all this in There's a little up there, a bit further up, another shopping estate, retail estate. But I think I'll just go to the co-op. Little's okay. 
like it's fine. Actually, it could be fine for what I want as well. A little bit of bread. But you could do some decent bread. There we go, right. Unfortunately, I've more or less filled the local bin. Oh no, I haven't even finished. Look. So, I've squeezed all that gear into that. And uh, now it's time I need to hit the road and I've got to put the this thing mounted because it no longer fits inside the rucksack. Well, I could probably do it, but so let's unlock this thing. out again so that's great and what I need to do is get some directions because uh, I don't know exactly where this co-op is So, what the young lad was hanging about for there, he was, came up the steps and as I came down, he came back, well, not the steps, up the slope, and came straight back down. When I came down, he didn't look like a scallywag or anything, so I'm sure it was innocent, it's just odd. So at some point, I've got to go, I've got to go left. I'm, go, I'm going left anyway at the big roundabout. Uh, that's my return journey but the co-op lies that way as well but I've got to do another left turn to get to the co-op at some point so let's go down a gear or two and I've got to wait uh, might just be able to get across here go so as a legit psychopath which on a junction like this you need in rush hour that'll be a, a bit of a headache that junction to be fair right so this is the return journey uh, and the co-op is I think we cross over the railway line which is that bridge oh and hot and cold food is available on my right down there and it's got 4.7 stars or something ridiculous so it's going to be decent not worth me crossing over to where the bike path is I'll stay where I am because I think the co-op turn is just over this hill So we're just going over the railway line, I can't see it, but hopefully you got a glimpse. Uh, and yeah, there's a turn off on the left, enables me to get to the co-op, but I just don't know which one. I sort of got a vague memory from looking at the map last night. So could it be this one? I'm, I can see it. I can see the co-op, it's there, you can see the green sign, so I'm going to carry on, I don't think it's down here, and it looks like some sort of private premises as well, like 
guarded premises so I probably wouldn't have been able to go down there so let's have a look is this it? This, yeah this has got to be it so I was close I was going to say close but no cigar but I get the cigar the co-op is the cigar um, it'll be going some to live up to yesterday's co-op I don't want to turn this into great co-ops of our time you know great co-ops of the UK I mean I've, I've, I could I've got plenty of material as I do spend an inordinate amount of time they are popular in rural areas uh, but yeah they're not going to do that but it will be going some because yesterday's was outstanding I don't think this is the same thing right so what I'm looking for is a bike rack which there is over there there we go and a pump as well they've put a pump here and a pump and you, it acts as a bike stand you can do repairs on your bike outside the co-op I just think that's such a, a thoughtful thing to do 